Salut coders, this is Biski here. Welcome back to another tutorial. In this tutorial, we want to continue our microservice uh, architecture with Quarkus and Kong. And in later videos, I will show you how we, we are going to integrate with Vault. So let's continue. On the previous tutorial, we created services. And these are the services that we created. We have learning service and payment service. And it's going to this path, which is a path learning and payment so based on the, our architecture if you come here you can see this is the path that we added here so we need to create routes on our kong api gateway so let's go to this file and we can continue so to create routes we need to, to win this is the url and i told you it's an administration url which is on port 8001 and service and the name of the service that we created and the we specify the routes and in the routes here we need to specify that the path is learning so if the request comes to the uh, to the Kong gateway if it matches this route it will be sent to the upstream service which is running on this port on the on the our le learning that we created on the learning service that we created so we need to create this routes is for this service so we can copy this and this you can get them in the description you can get the, this file so we can come back into the our terminal and we can add this route and we can do this so a route has been created let's check in our database if we look for the table let's look for the table called routes so this is the table routes and we can view the data or rows so we have this route which is called learning route and it's a protocol HTTP, HTTPS, and the path it's forward slash learning. So this is the one that we configured. And we can modify all these values later. If you want to learn more about Kong, we shall go through the Kong API gateway in, in our future videos if we manage to set up everything. So we have the learning route. So let's create another route, which is a payment route. So we can copy this. It's just the same. You need to specify the name of the route and the path that you want to route to. And here, the service that we created first. So that's why I told you, you need to create services first before creating routes. Then we can come back here and we can create this route. So if we come back, let's go back to, to our admin and make sure that everything is okay. And I can re, I can just run this script and right now we have two routes it's very easy to configure routes and all our routes are in are in the database so let's continue here Let, i want to clear this everything is now okay here and we need to go to our let's open our projects we have this learning service and this is a quackers project and i created a, a controller which is a, which is going to list that a list of courses and this is coming here let's go to this so i just had coded this data and we are we want to consume this endpoint which is courses or which is running on this so we need to build this into our docker we need to build a docker image and we can run it so let's go to so what you want to do let's open because quackers comes with scripts for docker so what you can do we just come here and you can open this docker jvm and you can just run these commands as they are so what i want to do first the first thing that you need to do is to run maven package or you can come back here if you are using intellij and you can clean this package you can run this package command yeah after we have done with our package because it built a jar file we need to build a docker image so you just copy this and we go to the terminal in the root folder of the project and we can run this command. It has been successfully built. So let's do the same for payment service. For our payment service, let's package it again. While it's packaging, we can open this file and we want to build this Docker image. So here we can open this and we can run this and we can build a Docker image. Everything is working fine here. 
so the next thing if i open my docker images let me open our docker image you can see i have these two docker images that were created a minute ago and one minute ago so what you can do now we want to run this uh, do, uh, we want to run this so i already have the script for running this the command is just docker run and we need to specify the net the network so everything is running under in, under the network which is cognate so the command is this one so for our learning service this is the docker image that we that we have here this is the docker images jvm jvm you can see learning service so in and this one is running on port 90 90 90 90 and the other one is running on port 30 30 so you how do you know that it's running on that port if you come here we are mapping this this service quackers project the learning service is running on port 90 90 and the payment service is running on port 30 30 if i open let's go to the properties it's running on this port and i specify the path is payment so this is the route that we added remember and we we added this route so what you can do next is to is to run this so let me open this commands docker run that i already created so let's run both of them and this one it's we need to say docker run minus d means running in background and we need to specify the cognate the network in which our cong is running so to make sure that all of them are in same network and i'm specifying the name of the service which is learning service and these are the service that we created so what i can do i can run this and come this to the terminal this one run is now running successfully and i can copy this again and i can paste this here so if i run this command docker ps you can see we have these two services running this uh, image these containers so i can say docker logs minus f in the name of the container and you can see it's running the quackers and it's running on port 3030 so now we have managed to run these two services and if you this one it's a learning all of them i can copy this and i can do this again and to see if the if we don't have any error and this one is running on port 90 and this one on port 3030 so all of them they're in same network so we need to test now our request to to the, so our requests are now going through the api gateway which is the the kong api gateway and then they will be routed to the to the desired microservice so let me open my postman and we can test so if you want to if you want our request to go through a, our kong api gateway all of the requests are now going through kong api gateway and it's a, we are no we are no longer using administrative port we are now using 8000 port which is this one is for routing for 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 client so the client will access our kong api gateway through this port so let me log add some logs here docker ps and this is the kong docker logs minus f right and these are our logs so we need to send a request to this service so what you can do you can see previously we created this true route and right now we want to create we want to get a request from our microservices so what we can do i can create i can go to our postman and on this port we are sending to the payment and to to the endpoint code to the payment service and subscription endpoint we want to get this the user this user subscription so if i send this request you can see the request has become and we send our request to the through kong api gateway and you know that previously 
this payment ghetto is running on port 3030 but because we added some routes and services it's now going through it going through kong api gateway and kong api gateway will route to the correct service so let's look into our logs you can see here on our kong you can see this we we send a request which is this one payment gateway and it it return a success which is a 200 so we can test also another request which is a course we need to get all course and i created this endpoint and i will show you so for the course you can see all these requests are going through api gateway you can see on our get api gateway they are going through here and they are being routed to the desired microservice so now we have managed to add a kong api gateway and re now routing request where it's supposed to go so we have done the first part of routing using kong api gateway we have a lot of things that we are going to use on our spring architecture like caching rate limiting authentication and i will show you in the future videos so if you go to our database so in our database there are things that you're supposed to note if you are if you are creating services and routes and i showed you uh, in our project if i go to application properties you can see we have this route learning and this learning is the path that you are supposed to put when you are creating a service and when you are creating a path as a route so we just do this and for this url you can see if you are creating a service this url is the upstream service where the request is going to be routed to so if the request comes on this port we can see our request comes here on this port and it goes to this learning and when this route matches it look for the service to the, to look which service is this configured so if that service is configured uh, to payment service a payment service is, is a upstream url this is the url that you saw here so if you go to to services so if you go to service this uh, this service uh, it's the host will be learning service which is the this host can be a domain name it can be anything but now it is a i'm hosting with everything in the same docker in the same docker so it, they are in same network so that's why i put the host as a as a docker as a docker name and it's routing on the port 9090 and this one 3030 which is your service currently running and the path which is going to be learning and all this condition will be met so let's meet on another video if you are new to this channel may you kindly subscribe click the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever you upload new video salukodas